What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the sandbox. We're gonna be playing episode number three of the long dark where I attempt to survive for as long as possible This is the hunting lodge by the way This is the place that you're really trying to find and one of my playthroughs I found this place and they give you a gun and like a bunch of bullets and basically you become an unlike Unkillable juggernaut of survival basically if you can find this place, but it's like out in the middle of nowhere But anyways, we're gonna be playing sandbox mode one more time today. I think this is gonna be yeah This should be fun. I mean we learned a little bit in our first playthrough We talked about survivalism. We had a good time but eventually, it wasn't the snow that killed us, it was the wolves. There are just wolves everywhere in this game. Like, they are all over the place. They are a serious, serious problem if you have no way to deal with them. So, let's jump in. We're going to play Sandbox one more time. We'll go with a male survivor this time. They do have their own voiceovers and so forth. And off we go to Mystery Lake one more time. Hopefully it doesn't start us, like, somewhere terrible this time. And so we've crashed, geomagnetic storm and so forth. What am I living for and what am I dying for? The same question. Margaret Atwood. Loverly. Things to contemplate instead of a loading screen. Lovely little words of wisdom and life that I will quickly discard after I read them and never remember ever again. Because, meh, that's how I roll. That's how I pizza roll. Let's go back on mm, pizza rolls sound delicious right now, like those Totino's pizza rolls. Yep, those things are the business. I have no idea where I am right now. I have never seen this location before in my life. So it appears as though we have been spawned. Actually, I might know where we are. Maybe. I might mightily know where we are as well, but I don't know what the physical strength of my character is just yet. I don't know if we're like a Samson or if we're like a Delilah right now. The Deadfall area. Actually, I've been here before. Yeah, I know where we are. So if we go up that way, it'll be the Ski Lodge. If we go back over here, I think. I don't know. Let's live on the edge right now. If we die, we die. It's not a big deal. Uncut LPs, go! And so if we die, it's not going to be that big of a deal. We'll just kind of run around and explore and figure out the map. I'm pretty sure if you go back this way, though, it takes you to the Hunter's Cabin. Which, after what happened in the previous episode with all... Damn it, we've already got wolves out. We've already got wolves out. We've been here like four seconds and there are already wolves around. Speaking of which, where is our plane? It said that our plane crashed. Shouldn't we be able to, like, scavenge off of our plane or something? I'd be making use of that plane. I'd be tearing sheet metal off of there. I'd be using all the parts. There's lots of useful things on a plane. Like, there could be all kinds of coilage and wireage and all kinds of good things that you can use. Drain the gas tank, soak water, I'm sorry, not soak water, soak all of your fuel in the gas tank and so forth. Mm-hmm. There's all kinds of useful stuff you can use a plane for. I guess we'll go this way since I've never gone this way before in the Deadfall area. Let's kind of have a look around. Taking the high ground also seems like a unique and also probably intelligent idea. So let's take the high ground and see if we can't scout anything out for right now. It'll be a little bit calorie extent, or it'll be a little bit calorie intensive, but they start you off in the beginning of the like, game with a decent amount of calories so I think we'll probably be okay for now anyways the big issue that I find with this game has just been wolves 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 to quote the old Motley, Motley Crue song I'm a big Motley Crue fan by the way like seriously I like Motley Crue a lot let's go back over here and unfortunately the tree cover is being a little bit of an impediment to our visual faculties Yeah, so let's see here. Yep, trees. Trees. All trees are accounted for. Snow. We've got a copious quantity of snow. That works out. All right. We've also got what? Ah, there it is. I knew it was over here somewhere. Aha! Now we just go get ourselves a gat. And so once you get the gun, this game actually gets a lot easier. That's pretty much like the one thing that you have to have in this game in order to survive. You can get the gun, then you can use the five bullets that they start you out with with the gun to go clear out the train cart over there, which gives you another five bullets. And you can actually gut and skin all the wolves along the way and get all their meat and all their delicious tidbits and so forth. Oh, yeah. It's good. I've been saying and so forth a lot. I think I'm going to steer away from that. I've noticed that as a commentator, you start to gravitate towards certain phrases and things as you go along the game. Now, the big worry that I would have here barging into somebody's house, it looks like they've started a fire. Hopefully there's not a bear in the house. The bear's got a fire and a gun. Run! The only thing worse than a bear is a bear with a gun. Oh, there's no gun in here. Son of a bitch. So I guess the gun spawns randomly. Oh, that sucks so badly for us. All right. Well, that means we need to pick this place clean. And unfortunately, you, you, you. Well, some of the stuff is still here. Like, there's still rifle bullets. We've got peaches. We've got military grade MREs. Ooh, 2,000 calories. So that's kind of a hard reset to our playthrough if we can manage it. Got a jerry can full of carrot. No, I was. Hmm. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. This is what happens when I haphazardly click things. It's already 6 o'clock. It started us off in the evening. So I think it may have started us off at a random time at night, unfortunately. 
It means we're gonna have to bed down a lot sooner than I'd expected. Luckily, this place is really, really warm, so it should be all right. So we need a pry bar to get that open. The last time I played, this was actually unlocked. What about the safe, is it open? How do we make this work? Oh, we scroll it that way. Oh, we can we can hack the safe. Cool. Okay, so let's try that. Go right to. Okay, so it was right 12. Wait, what? So we go right 12. Hey, all right, let's reset it real fast. I'm not sure what happened right there. Maybe I went too slow or something. And it reset itself. So we got right 12. Go real slow. Okay, and then we go all the way back around, I think, on the third one. It's been a while since I had a locker combination, I'm going to be honest. It's been a really, really long time since I've used a locker, so I don't really remember. I think you go full rotation on the last one. It's been a while. Oh, we got it. Nice. Okay, so it didn't work exactly like I thought a safe would work, but that's fine. More rifle bullets. I suppose if we find a rifle, we're going to be in really good shape. And again, we may not ever find one, which is really sort of the reality that you have to deal with in this game, is that you might not find one, and you may just die before you can find one. The last game, we had lots of bullets, too, and we still didn't find a rifle. I'm hoping it's not in the gun locker. It's in the gun locker. That's going to be a big problem for us, which means we have to find a crowbar, and we have to come back over here, which he might be a little bit suspect, giving... Oh, a sewing kit. Very cool. That's actually really, really awesome. I've never had a sewing kit before, so I think this might be funsies. We've got ourselves a plastic bottle that'll hold 500 milliliters at the moment. It has 0.13 gallons. I think I may go back. Let's let's reset this back to. I'm gonna put this back to metric because I can't deal with, I can't deal with all of my, my liquid volumes being dealt with. And use this. We can't craft an alpha, so that's done for right now. We'll go ahead and stop that, but we do have beef jerky. So we've gotten ourselves a lot of food from this location. A piece of cloth. That's pretty cool. Let's get into these metal containers down here and see if we can find anything else useful. We've got an accelerant. We've got a wool hat. I don't know how that differs from a toque, but I'm assuming one is probably thicker than the other. One being blood and the other being water That'll and so forth. We've got antiseptic, and I did it again. I'm going to start charging myself views every time that I use that phrase. We got firewood. I think it might actually be a better idea for us to bed down here for the night. I think we may just want to hang tight in this location because bad things... Oh, I forgot the newsprint. Let's take that. We're not freezing in here, so I don't see any reason. It feels like 3 degrees Celsius in here because it seems like she's doing... or it seems like he's doing okay. I forgot that we switched sexes. We went ahead and popped out that any for an outer. There it goes. Just put your fingers over your nose and over your mouth and just blow real hard. Boop, out it pops. And so now we've got a willy. We've got a willy. Not that it's going to help us much in survival, I don't think. Unless you can start a fire with it or something. Piss gasoline. That's how hardcore you are. You're like, ah, piss gasoline. You don't want to mess with me, sir. I think we can get into this drawer, too. Oh, wood matches. Okay. Some shadowy wood matches. Some matches that have adorned the night. I am the match of the night. All right, so not finding a gun is totally the suckage for us right now. My guess is that anywhere you find bullets, that's the possibility of where the gun might be. So the next place we're going to want to look for the gun is going to be over by the train tracks where we had those overturned carts. I think that's our next goal. But for now, let's rest for an hour and see if we get colder. That's all that I want to find out. So we're going to rest for an hour, and if we get a little bit more freezy fo sheezy we'll go ahead and back off the idea of sleeping here for the night, or at least we'll make a fire or something. So did I freeze to death? No, we're perfectly fine. Let's sleep all night then. It's going to be rough on our calories because obviously we're not using our time very well at the moment, but I guess I could go out and search for wood at night. Is it going to be a full moon though? Wow, that was a little bit sinister. Made scary music. Is there something out at night? I've never actually gone for adventures at night in this game, so there is the possibility that perhaps there is actually like a big kind of scary claw monster out in the darkness. It could happen. There's lots of game over here, which means that we probably want to stick around this location. Additionally, we didn't get a knife either. I've come to this location before, and there was a knife and a gun here. And it looks like we just weren't that lucky, unfortunately. There's nothing out in the barn. I don't think there's anything in the hayloft. 
Nope. Another piece of firewood, so that's good. We've got a deer carcass that's frozen. And it's been ravaged. So unfortunately, someone has already had their fun with that deer. Well, it feels like six degrees. This sort of raises the question, if I can make it back to another survival location with all the good stuff that we stole from this place. I mean, this seems like the best place to hole up if you've got all the things that you need, but we don't. If we had the gun, I would say, yeah, let's bed down and let's just kind of keep it where it is right now. Let's have a little bit of a look around. I think I'm going to scout a little bit further. I'm going to have a look around. We're going to see what's laying around us and so forth. God, and so forth. That is. That's my new phrase for the week. That is my new phrase. It's so strange that I'm falling back on that one because I never use that in real life. I never use that phrase ever, but the moment I start recording, all right. I'm going to start punching myself in the head every time I say it because I can't do this right now. I can't remember what my previous one was. I had a phrase before that people used to call me out on. They would be like, and so forth, and so forth, and so forth, except it was a different phrase, and they would always make fun of me for it, and so I had to drop that one as well, because the comments, they hurt my feelings too much. I sat around weeping into the evenings, just being like, ah, nobody loves the fact that I use the same phrase over and over again, and for some reason this really bothers me on a fundamental emotional level. Oh, God! I can talk really fast. I don't know if you had all realized that by this point, but, you know, just just going, I can talk pretty fast if I want to. Just saying. It's a skill that I have. It is a skill that I have developed. In my years of entertaining on the radio. I really enjoyed working in radio. It was one of those things that was really, really fun for me. It was sincerely a blast. It's a job that doesn't even feel like a job. The only thing I could ever compare it to is working on YouTube like I do right now. It doesn't even feel like a job. It's just a thing that you do every day that pays the rent, and it's just a blast. You wake up every day excited to do it. If I don't record, it actually really bums me out. Because this is a major part of my day. I sincerely enjoy recording videos and just talking to all of you and having a good time and just hanging out. Got another dead deer over here or something. Yep, lots of dead deer around. Not really something that's useful to us until we find a knife, though. And I doubt we're going to find one way out here. I think our... I don't know. We are freezing at the moment. We are freezing. I will point that out. We are not doing well with regards to our our thermic health. I think I'm going to try and... Let's just strike out. This is a terrible idea, by the way. Don't do this. This is a horrible, horrible mistake on my part. You should never do this in real life or in this game. You should not do what I'm doing right now. If you find yourself doing what I am doing at the moment, that is leaving your house at right when night is about to fall, you should just kick yourself in the groin repeatedly. So, gentlemen, get going. Kick yourself in the balls over and over and over again. Ladies, credit card the hell out of yourselves because you deserve it if you do what I'm doing right now. And, in fact, I may go and just kind of, like, heal myself in the nuts later just to teach myself a lesson for doing this. I know where I'm going, though, so there's that. We're going to go back to the hunting lodge, I think, for right now and see if maybe we can find anything useful there. We can bed down. Yeah, we are going to freeze to death very, very shortly. So I'm going to try and sprint my way out there, even though it's really, really hard on our calories. I'm hoping that we can we can make it. We've got about 15 minutes left in the episode, so I wanted to live on the edge for a little bit. We're going to live on the edge. We'd already been on point, so we found our way to the number one salvaging location in the game. And I think if we go this way, pretty sure the hunting lodge is over here. Do we have a lantern? We do not have a lamp. And so unfortunately, we won't be making any wishes. We won't be having any genies popping out. And sad, sad, sad. That reminded me of Robin Williams. Now I feel sad. Damn it. Well then. I suppose that that conversation went off in a weird direction, but nonetheless, we will continue to survive. But in a survival situation, the last thing you want to do is go out at night. Seriously, do not walk around at night. It is the worst idea ever. You will get yourself all kinds of disoriented, and then you'll wake up and you will probably die from, like, I don't know, like pine needle exposure or something. There's all kinds of weird stuff that happens when you're out in the wilderness. At least I know my way to the hunting cabin now. That's pretty cool. That had been a location that I had found in the past, but was never able to recreate, so I know where it is now, which is a bonus. The hunting lot is going to be right over here. There's the rail cars over there that we're going to check tomorrow for anything that we can possibly... Yeah, wind chill is getting us right now. It's minus 23. Oh my god, that's so cold. I don't ever think I've been in a place that cold before. Oh, and it's getting dark too. Yep. Alright, so freezing to death is looking like a very real possibility right now. I think tomorrow we may scavenge all those places over there, the touristy places, and see if we can get better clothing. Because we can't really go out on extended adventures at the moment with what we have. It's going to get dark in here pretty soon too, so... At least we've got a little bit of light to play with, and so play we shall. That soda is always back there. Of all the things that are in the same spot every time you play, that one is always there. 
There's always a can opener over here too, so we'll grab that. At least there always has been for me. We've got pork and beans, and so we'll grab the pork and beans. We'll search some of the file cabinets. I don't know why somebody's been putting all of their grinding mechanisms in a cabinet, but you know, whatever you, however you organize your tools, I guess. Had ourselves a toga, a toka, a toqua. If you wanted to be super fancy, but I'm like, mm, Reginald, hand me my toqua. And so, in handing him the toqua, oh, we got a bunch of wood too. So never a bad idea to have a bunch of wood. There we go. At least we won't be disappointing the old lady friend later. We'll grab some of the stuff out of the drawers. Yes, rifling through your drawers again. I know I've left you wanting after the previous playthrough. It's been a while since I've rifled through your drawers, but I'll do it again. We're also gonna search the first aid kit, energy bar, a band aid, and a candy bar. All right, and now the accelerant. Ooh. It's good. And so now let's check the upstairs location. Anything up underneath any of this? No. Are we freezing to death right now? It feels like 37 degrees. That's pretty chilly. That's pretty chilly, but at least it's better than my... Oh, God, there's a dead guy in our apartment. That's... I don't know if I can deal with this. I don't know if I can sleep near a dead guy. It's a little bit unnerving. Looks like I this has been here a while. I am way too into zombie stuff for this to happen without me at least thinking. All you had was antibiotics, man. There's stuff all over the place you could have survived with. You just, like, laid down in the corner and gave up. Like, well, I guess I'll die now. This life wasn't doing much for me anyways. Nah! Straight off the cliff. I suppose I will embrace my death. Got newsprint here. Fantastic painkillers. So in case we get ourselves into trouble with at least our pharmaceutical health, I guess we'll be all right. It's getting a little bit too dark right now. I think what I may consider doing is let's light up the wood stove, I guess, for a little bit. Let's throw some accelerant on it just to guarantee that we get the light here. And that'll allow us to actually see in the dark. For, actually, it's pretty pitch black at the moment. I think what I would like to do is since we're not too fatigued at the moment, what I'd do right now is let's go ahead and stack this thing up, actually. We'll add a couple of those. And yeah, we've got enough wood to make this work. And what I would suggest right now is let's boil, let's melt down as much water as we can. And we just want to get that prepared for the future. So one gallon will actually, act, it'll last us quite a bit of time in this game. And let's make it potable now too. And so we're going to boil a gallon here. We've got ourselves a water bottle and whatnot. So we should be able to keep that, I think. I don't really know how that works, but we should be able to keep it on ourselves. And what's the air temperature in here right now? How's the air temperature doing? The air temperature's at 48 degrees. We're sitting at 45, so we should be pretty comfortable until morning. Maybe stock this up with another one just to get it nice and warm in here. I don't know about the retention of heat. Wow, this place looks like kind of a hellish location when you've only got the fireplace going. It's a little bit creepy. A little bit terrifying. Oh, well. What are you going to do? If I stand right next to it, do I get even warmer? Or are we already topped out right now? Since it is... We have a thousand calories. Since it's midnight, let's just take this till 7 o'clock. We'll go ahead and give ourselves a nice rest so that we can get ourselves totally rested up for the next day because there are a lot of things that we need to get done right now. And today, I think today is going to be kind of that principal day where we get things done. We survived 13 hours. What's the temperature looking like right now? Temperature's looking okay. We're dehydrated, so let's drink some of that water that we've got on us. And so we've got potable water. We're going to drink that until we're ready to go. And we'll see how much of that works for us. We had 1.13 liters, I think is what... Did it say gallons or liters? I don't know. I thought I swapped it back to metric. No, it's still saying gallons. That's odd. Oh, I swapped that back. I swear to God, I swapped that back. I thought I did anyways. I prefer that... I don't know. We'll put on the wool hat. So it gives us one centigrade warmth bonus, whereas the taqua gives us... Oh, we're already wearing a toque. Well, that's disappointing. Oh, it's actually the wool hat is better. Okay, so let's wear the beanie hat. There we go. So now we've got a little bit of a heat bonus. We haven't picked up a whole lot of clothing yet, and it sounds like it's really windy outside too, so this might not go well for us. But I do think we're going to have to jump off the proverbial cliff no matter what we do. I should have drank one of my sodas instead of drinking my water. Let's eat some pork and beans. That'll get us up and running. Sure, sure. Our can opener has degraded itself slightly. It's it's really one for the self-deprecation. That can opener is just constant. He's really hard on himself. I mean, he's really, really hard on himself. I don't know if it's just because of his upbringing. Like, maybe his parents were really hypercritical. But whatever it is about that guy, he's just always degrading himself. So, I try to keep his spirits high, but 
I do the best that I can. <laughs> there it is. Jokes about cans. <laughs> I guess we'll eat this stuff up right now. And I'd like to have... Let's front stock about a thousand calories at the moment. And then it's time to get back outside and we'll give this a go. Hopefully there's no wolves around. That's usually a big problem for us at this location. The wolves do tend to stray near... Oh good, we've got wind chill. Oh wow, it's minus 50 today? Dear God. You can see our meter. Yeah, we're going to have to spend the day inside, unfortunately. I don't think we're going to be able to get out there. We just got to kind of hang tight for a little bit. So let's wait for an hour. I think that's all we're going to be able to do. It feels like two degrees. My God, we might actually freeze to death just by nature of having a really bad storm right now. That wind chill is not something that we're going to be able to survive. Minus 50, even with the best gear we've had so far, we've only had plus 20 to our temperature. So... And it looks like this place isn't insulated very well. It looks like it's just sucked the warmth out of the place. Let's go ahead and rest for an hour. We'll see if we get cold or not. And we just got to kind of wait until the sun comes up, I suppose. Maybe we just haven't been... Maybe it's not close enough to daybreak yet. Maybe that's the problem. I'm still experimenting quite a bit with, you know, the various aspects of the game. It doesn't sound quite as windy right now. So hopefully we'll be able to get up out of this place and we'll be able to hit... By the way, I had mentioned in the first episode that I had had problems with my frame rate. I lowered the game to medium and it appears to afflict some switch somewhere. It might have been V-Sync, in fact, that it pumped me up from like 30 degrees on up to... During a snowstorm, I couldn't get... I'm sorry. During a snowstorm, I couldn't get above 30 frames per second. I bumped it down to medium and it basically is at like 250 frames per second right now. So there's something in between medium and high that it turns on as part of the advanced settings that kind of bottoms out your frame rate. That was my stomach, I hope. It sounded like a wolf for a second, but I'm hungry like a wolf, I guess. We can invoke the ancient rite of Duran Duran. Smell like a sound, I'm lost and I found, and I'm hungry like a dead wolf. I have a strong appreciation for falsetto singing. You can ask anybody that knows me. They ask me to do it all the time. And in fact, I can't actually do it right now because a lot of it relies sort of on projection. And I'll blow out my microphone if I do it right now. So, no. Unfortunately, you won't all get treated to my falsetto singing just yet. Use this. Oh, another can opener. All right. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I'll take it. It sounded like the ground just cracked underneath my feet. I don't like that. That is sort of horrifying. Sort of horrifying. You can kind of make that rhyme. And if there was a warthog involved, it'd be like sort of war to horrifying. Ooh, I like rhymes. Rhymes make me happy. There's a wolf guarding that campground, so unfortunately, I don't think that one's going to be accessible. And I don't have the bludgeoning slash murdering tools required for killing a wolf. Got some wool socks, so those will help slightly. Let's go ahead and throw those on our footicles, our pedicles. Wool sockies. There it is. We get a point five bonus. Hooray. Dat point five bonus. A sewing kit, so we got another one right there, and some painkillers. Well, we got drugs on the plus side if we want to get our codeine on. We got enough of that to last us a lifetime. A newspaper, grape sodas. Apparently, whoever was in here was really, really into grape soda. Like, they were stoked about the grape soda, the grape soda. Let's go back over here. I'm going to try and go around him the long way. We are kind of cold at the moment, so our condition may fall slightly. Especially if the wolf decides to up and bite us for no reason whatsoever. It's like, I'm a wolf, you're prey. It's not no reason whatsoever. What is good for the wolf is bad for the deer. That's just the way that nature works. Nature is neither cruel nor kind. It merely is, as my old evolutionary anthropology slash biology teachers used to say. That was a fairly common saying in our department. Nature isn't cruel or kind, it just is. Usually after somebody got caught just like being upset about something that was happening in a video we had watched or something They'd be like, but the baby chimpanzee got beat to death with sticks We're like, yeah, well, that's nature. There's a whole lot of stick beating going on in nature Lots of things dying, especially if you've ever watched anything on baboons. Baboons are hardcore as hell Baboons give no dams. They are a terrifying creature. Ooh, beef jerky. Hooray! We've got ourselves some lovely meaty tidbits. Is there anything under the bed? Oh, this place sucks I do still wish that I could break down all the wooden stuff in here and use it for survival. Survival! Which is the only thing that really faces us at the moment. We've really, really, really got to come up with a way to survive better. We've got mm, a couple more cabins to search, so maybe we'll be okay. Hopefully that wolf doesn't wander back over. Oh, good. He's off on a voyage to that island off over there. He's like, listen, all year this has been a... It's been totally just a normal lake. And I've wanted to go out to this island since as far as I can... 
As far as I can remember, my my stomach was growling right there. I thought it was a wolf. I was like, ah, he's here! It's a decoy! Run! We're all gonna die! We'll grab a little bit of wood right here. Sure, I never have a problem grasping some wood if the situation calls for it. Newsprint, sure, because tinder can be hard to come by in this That'll game. In a wolf scarf, in fact. A hunting knife! Hell yeah! Okay, so we're in really good shape right now. The hunting knife is going to allow us, you know those dead bodies we see all over the place? The hunting knife is going to allow us to skin those and also prepare those. And so we'll finally be able to clean a carcass if we need to. And I'm sure there's plenty of them around here. Now, cleaning off a carcass that's already been eaten by an animal is a little bit sketch. It's pretty sketch. But if you can find, oh, the jacket is here. Cool. So we've got a quality winter coat just like we had in our last playthrough. So it appears as though certain things are concretely in one spot. And then other things kind of move around all over the place. So we've got a sweater. Where was it? It said it was quality. There it is. And that gives us actually a 3 degree warmth bonus. That's good. So it's actually going to feel like 6 degrees now. Instead of feeling like minus 1 degrees. So that's good. We've got ourselves sitting at like mm, 38 degrees or so I think. You know, 14 over 9 plus 32 or whatever. Eh, I can't do it in my head right now, but you know, we're somewhere in there. Like 38, 40 degrees or something. 3 degrees centigrade is like 36, I think. So it's, it's got to be around there somewhere. Eh, maths. Maths are too difficult for me right now. My mathification skills. We're still looking kind of cold, though. If we look at the system sort of objectively, we're still not doing very well. We should probably head back to base camp pretty soon, but I really didn't want to waste today. Just like sitting around in my house, and it should get warmer as the day goes along. We'll see if the dead bodies are over here. Worst case scenario, mm, we'll, we'll clean a dead guy. You want to eat some human? I've heard it tastes like pork. Don't ask me how the person that told me that knew that, but that's what I heard. Oh, there's only a backpack over here now. There's no dead guy. All right, well, let's search the backpack. I don't think we're going to get much because the meter goes up a lot slower if there's a lot of loot inside something. Just a something to let you know in case you want to be disappointed early rather than later. <laughs> If that's the kind of person you are. I'd rather be disappointed now than disappointed over a long range of time. So just disappoint me now in greater volumes instead of like spreading it out. I'd rather be really disappointed now than like kind of disappointed over the course of like five or six hours. Oh wait, there's a metal container right here. Let's search it. It's kind of dark. Sorry if you can't see it. I could barely see it. So bear with me along the way. Seriously though, I hope there's no bears around. If there are bears in this game, I will cry and curl up in a corner and just... I will turn into just a slobbering mess. I don't want to deal with bears. Bears are scary. Bears is... No, in reality, bears don't bother anybody. I've seen black bears, brown bears. Grizzlies, however. Grizzlies and Kodiaks, I... I would say that you probably have good cause to be terrified of. Those things are... I watched Grizzly Man. I saw what happened. They ate that dude and all that was left was just like his penis laying on the ground. Mm -hmm, I've seen the pictures. They ate everything except for his wang. And it was just laying there on the ground. You'd be like, damn, some images don't wash out in your brain. I googled it. I was like, grizzly man photos. Because they talked about it in the documentary. And I was like, you know what? I'm man enough. I can handle this. And yeah, there was just like a foot. And it was like, well, those bears decided that he had dirty feet. And they also wanted nothing to do with his genitalia. And he just left it laying all over the tundra. And I'm like, well then. I, what I learned today is that bears are just as, I don't know if you've ever seen the whitest kids you know, where they're sitting around arguing over who has to eat the penis. Like, they start eating each other, and the only thing left over is the male part of the last person they ate, and they're arguing over who has to eat it or something like that. Like uh, I remember it being pretty reasonably funny, though. It was a pretty funny skit. <laughs> you got a water bottle right there, which is, that's good. Water receptacles are always good. And in fact, a lot of people don't know this, but you can actually, let's get back to more serious conversation here. <laughs> You can you can actually heat a water bottle over a fire, and it probably won't melt. It probably won't. I mean, it'll probably put all sorts of carcinogenic nastiness inside the water. But hey, you want cancer 20 years from now, or do you want to die of dehydration two days from now? You, you, you picks your battles here. You picks your poison. You just got to kind of think about it in that situation and be like, well, I suppose I will take the one that kills me in 20 years versus right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a real kind of value judgment right now. So I guess we won't be skinning and crafting using human bones anytime soon. It'd be kind of like the forest. Make it a little bit darker. Cannibalism! Cannibalism! If you wanted to count both ends. I hate the way that things are spelled in English. I don't know if you knew that right now, but I hate words like numb, for example. Why is there a B at the end? Dumbest shit on earth. There should not be a B at the end of that word. I hate the fact it should be spelled N-U-M. That's how we should spell it. It should, be spelled, it should be spelled exactly how it sounds. You put a B at the end, and I reject that. I reject the premise of that, and I'm going to say number from now on, just to annoy all the people that subscribe to it without thinking about it. 
Also, nails. There should be no there should be no I in the middle of that. It should be N-A-L-E-S. Should say nails. Or we could just go N-A-A-L-S, and we could just say that a double A makes a long A sound, whereas one A makes a short A sound, and we can just stop combining letters all together. How about that? That sounds pretty awesome. That's something that I would totally get behind. Damn you, Webster. Your arbitrary spellings. Now, every time I have to spell something, it's different from the British version, and so... Ooh, I almost said and so forth again. We got another one right there. I'll probably break that one down, though, for parts. Bits and pieces. We picked up some matches right there. What's over here? Nothing. Get the newspaper. Right, man. And then we go back over here. Okay, we got that. Let's eat some food. Let's get our food on. I think I'll probably just eat that MRE for right now because that's like a hard reset on our caloric values. So let's eat that right now. It takes us a while, though. It seems like that would be kind of a time-consuming consumption. There we go. And so we've got enough calories now to get by. We are encumbered, though. So unfortunately... Something's got to go. <laughs> You weenie. We're going to hike this stuff all back to base camp. Don't give up. I believe in you right now. I realize we're going through a lot of calories at the moment, but I do sincerely believe that we can handle this in one trip. We can handle this in one trip. Seriously, don't fall down, though. This is not one trip as in falling down. It's like we're walking out to this final cabin, then we're going back to base camp. We're going to drop off all this stuff, then we're going to break off the episode because we're going to be ready to rock. And I feel like this thing is going too long right now. I actually feel like we're probably sitting at like 40 minutes right now, but I lost my train of thought when I play this game because it's really, really fun, and I really, really enjoy it. And so congratulations, Nerdcastle. You might get a really, really long episode right now. I've been doing that a lot lately, just losing track of time and recording like 40-minute episodes, and I'm just like, oops, and that's that. Let's hang out right here. Alright, one more drawer to run through. Give me your goods, drawer. I shall run you through. Another Jesus. sewing kit. I've never had so many sewing kits in one run. Hopefully I can craft stuff out of it. That would be really, really amazing. It looks like we got a deer over there. It's just kind of hanging out next to that fishing shack. Well... I don't see any deer or anything around because I would like to actually show you the gutting and cleaning system. Oh, we're sleepy? No! I want to be Doc. I don't want to be sleepy. Doc was always like the G in that situation, although Dopey was pretty dope too. Dopey though, I got the feeling that Dopey was kind of just like riding the dragon the entire time. That was the feeling that I got. He just kind of like burned out. I mean, I know a lot of people like that who are just like, meh. Like their brain just doesn't exist anymore because the sheer volume of drugs that were consumed. I understand that right now. Like, you can converse and talk to yourself if it makes you feel better, though. He's just talking about how cold and how awful he feels right now. And I was just reassuring him that we are heading back to base camp right this second to drop off all of our goodies. And then from there, we're pretty fatigued at the moment. And so we might be able to make it out to the rail cart in the next episode. I don't know, though. It's a little bit risky. It's a little bit risky with our fatigue where it's at. I don't know what happens when your fatigue runs out. I assume that your condition just deteriorates or something. Well, feeling pretty good about the map layout right now. I've never been down that way, so I might try and go down that way. We hacked the safe, which is pretty cool. I call it hacking because that's what they call it in every other game. I guess we picked the safe or we cracked the safe. There we go. We cracked it. Cracking the safe is something that I've never done before. I didn't realize that you could just kind of like manually do that and it would actually allow you to do it. Most safes, it must not be a very good safe if you can like crack it by feel with no previous safe cracking experience. We are freezing and we are tired. So two things in combination which really seem to have us rethinking our wilderness experience here. Let's go back to the house. We'll start a fire. We got plenty of flint and tinder and kindling and so on. Oh, I said and so on that time. I tricked you out. I tricked you out, but I definitely, there's another kick in the nuts. I owe myself two kicks in the nuts right now, and that is going to suck because I live by my word. My word is my bond. Too much stuff to carry. Oh, good. Now I'm exhausted, which means that I'm like hobbling or something. No! We are going to make it. Stay with me. I'm going to name my character. I think I'm going to name him Trevor. There we go. Trevor, we are going to make it. I'm inside your head right now, Trevor. I need you to dig deep right now. I need you to dig so deep. Dig deeply within yourself and just find just find that mode. Think about that guy that you got a fight in a fight with in the eighth grade and how you would do it over. Find strength from your hatred and your anger. Channel your Sith powers. This situation would be a lot easier if I had Sith powers. While we're on the subject, just force lightning some shit to death. She'd be like, dear... Channel your hatred. Let's make lightning. Mm -hmm. Or I could just force choke a wolf levitated up in the air. That's it. This needs to happen. Jedi mod. Jedi mod for the long dark. Come on. If there's a wolf out here, this is totally going to suck for us. This is going to be really, really bad. It's going to toads blow. 
Wolves, you're not out here, are you? If you are, just pretend you don't see me. Into the house. All right, so I'm going to break off the episode right here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me at the Nerdcast for another episode of The Long Dark. I look forward to playing it with you again in the next episode. Take care out there, everybody, and I do.